The dogs. Meow. Hey. Morning. You okay? What are you doing over here? I thought you were sleeping in there. Stay. Nancy? Okay. I was just I was just making sure that you weren't a threat. What's going on? What's up? No. Um she wasn't she she's oh, She was there. Now she's there. That's odd. Uh oh. Don't want to approach you make her angry. She might be okay. sleeping with her eyes open. You should uh, so depending on depending on like severity, I I still don't know the severity of her uh, condition. Mm. If I wake her up, she might start attacking. So I think uh, I, like I'm reasonably experienced when it comes to combat and everything like that, and subduing when it comes to. Uh, you know what? I'll just take that. I'll take that real fast. Okay. I appreciate that. Here for it. onto my belt just in case. Hmm. And I'll put on my back. Look weird? No, it looks fine. It's good. That works. All right, cool. Anyway. Okay. Approaching a individual with the mentality of a feral animal. Okay, well, not a good place. Yeah, what are you, you going to do when we do wake her? I need to establish that she's in a safe space because right now she's kind of, I think she's having a hard yeah. time over there in the corner. Stay out of your way. Hmm. Okay. You can also move the shield. Good! Yeah. Appreciate you. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you recognize me? I'm in. Two step. Three step. Huh? So when an animal growls at you, it's a way of threatening you. And uh, considering I, I'm I trying to establish that this... Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. But considering that this is an environment that I'm trying to make her feel safe, approaching her after she growls at me, makes me think that I am no longer establishing that this is a safe place. So I'm going to leave her to her own devices. I'm going to make sure to I keep an I'm eye on her. I'm going to try something. All right, by all means. You should probably take your shield, just in case she lashes out on you and try to slit your throat with her talons. I'm going to say. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't have any talents, but I wouldn't be surprised if she nabs something. Hmm. Morning. Remember me from last night? Remember this? You like this, right? Smell nice? Would you like this? Quite a, quite a day. I'll figure it out. Yeah. 
I reckon she's hungry, maybe. Oh, if you uh, would help me out, can you find uh, can you find Bendy and see if you can get him to make some of that uh, puree that he uh, uh, made yesterday? Yeah, I can I can go look for him. Do you got a radio yeah, that you're online? Oh, I'm rocking 13 right now. 13? All right, I'll stick on that with you then. Something else? What's oh. up? Something else? Um. I know Cece was talking about having someone go out to the wasteland to go to the Pilbug camp and try and get her water tank today. Yep. I don't know if that's something that you would want to do or oh, something that the you want me to do. If they yeah. give her trouble or anything like that, I could speak to them, you know, with uh, with their language uh, and hmm. figure it out. But um, right okay. now, I, I have my priorities. If I can't get her to yeah. be self-sufficient, I won't be able to be self-sufficient. Right? Well, not self I not won't be able to leave her alone. I got to get her in All a right. way where I can leave her with friends. But right now, that's a little <laughs> difficult. <sighs> Alright. Okay, well, I'll head out, try and find Bendy, try and find some food. Yeah, get out of Dagger. Well, Mal, do you uh, want anything? You want me to grab you anything to eat if the cafe is open? Anything, I'm not picky. Alright, will do. It's all good. I'm just going to offer this up to you. <laughs> That's not good. <gasps> they have a little kitchen down there. And the, but the, it's a oh, or potion stuff? Question mark? I'm still in. What's the force hammer? Creature, creature, creature.
Can I make a run forward? I kind of want to make a run forward. I'm in a different environment. I don't know there's voices, but no people to be seen. Ooh, do I? No, I'm not gonna, not gonna. Maybe, maybe, maybe at some point I might. Maybe, I might. I just might. What's up? going to say is okay, that, uh, yeah, because yeah. I'm not entirely sure how an auto deck works, I'm just going to play it by how I think it should work, uh, because the DC for the yeah. caller is a 20, so <laughs> it, it took Jackie oh. to figure it out, so. For real? Yeah. Shit. Uh, okay. Alright. But, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what you get. Here's for rolling. <laughs> Alright. All I'm doing is trying to isolate one aspect. I'm not trying to get it off. Do you believe I'm just trying it? to disable. Java? Huh? If, if an auto decker works the way I think it does, where I just assume that you have decking and you just get a plus four to your roll, you just got a dirty yeah. 20. Oh! Delighted. <clears throat> he's just like, he's just like, Pathy gives him the best of technology, but he's remembering what Ruina told him. He's gonna pull it from a distance. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna tell you what I told Jackie. Um, <laughs> as you are looking, on, as you're looking, basically, this thing starts working instantly. It, it is oh. originally through in this technology. You would expect it to work as good as it's uh, supposed to. It doesn't take much effort for it to break uh. into the caller system and to start giving you a diagnosis what the caller essentially does. It doesn't give you everything. Uh, you immediately claim from this that whatever this caller is on here is extremely high tech. Fuck. Not high quite tech. corporate tech. It's it's like that but back alley tech. savant tech. Oh yeah. It is Oh no, intense. it's river tech. I know it's rip, but I know it's river tech. That's the thing. I already knew all this stuff because Jackie told me. I don't but know. While you're ah, looking through it, I'll give you a few ideas of exactly how the collar works based on what you can glean from it. It's a bit hard to tell. You can tell that the collar isn't just a collar. It has bits that are internal inside of her body. You do not know yeah, how far it's linked it up goes. to her spine, right? Yes, uh, it wouldn't quite say that there, but you would get an idea that there's internal bits. Yeah, there's definitely internal bits. You don't bits quite know how like deep that. it goes. Um, it seems can that I... the way that it essentially works is whenever her adrenaline spikes, she gets electrocuted. Fuck. There seems to be other systems in place to also shut off other things, one of which you immediately notice says something about toxins. Toxins? Toxins? What? <laughs> I don't understand. What kind of toxins? I'm a doctor, I know what toxins are. Can I count the factor toxins? Oh. What are you trying to do? I'm alright, so I'm trying to glean like special keywords from this information to see like if any like there's oh hello. Uh there's terms and stuff that a doctor that somebody would that understands the Latin language would know and I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's any like keywords I would understand, see if there's like any counteractions, any Anything that I can do. Counteractions. Like, so, like, All medically. Right, can... So, basically, what okay. I'm saying is, like, can I glean yeah. information from here to medically counteract certain, certain aspects? Because 
Last time I counteracted the hostile Unfortunately, drugs. no. All of it is a little too internal. You would have... You seem... You, okay, I will give you this. You can gleam that there are ways to turn off certain bits of the, like, uh, collar. However, the means of which you do so is not available to you at this current moment. There is a way to shut it off. But it seems to either involve a special code word, maybe even a physical key. Because, like, I know, I know her name. I, I know her name, but like, I don't There are no ways, as far as you can tell right now, there are no ways that you can medically counteract that. All you can really gleam at the moment is the best way to keep her from getting electrocuted is to keep her adrenaline down. Walk slowly. God. Arr. 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 Ah, I know, I, I'm, I'm just. It's a doctor. I don't know what I'm doing. I know, I know what to do. Fuck. But like... Hmm. I'll leave you to this to figure it out. Appreciate Maybe it. Maybe you need to come with me. I, w I will. I will. God. We're gonna dim the lights once again. Okay. And he's going to put on that very same Lagoon video that he showed you last night. And he's just going to prop it up and leave it a little bit closer. There we go. Right up here. <laughs> See? He's good. There we go. <sighs> Everything's alright. You scared me there for a second. Wait, Vic. Here, hello. Don't mind me, I'm coming to sit next to you. Do you still hate me? I know, I get that. However, I have something to rise, raise you. I get that. He's going to very purposefully waft the smell of bacon your way. Just saying. A strip of bacon could fit through your muzzle. do it. You're being angsty. Ha. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. 
hit my wall. I don't. <laughs> Epic. You can get those strips of bacon through your muzzle. I'm gonna give you some space. Oh, my bones. I'm gonna lay off the fucking. You know, there's keywords that are supposedly uh, part of your necklace. If only if I knew one. I know one of them, but that makes you wanna bite. Still right here. Can I? Oh, I can actually. Oh, I don't want to kill him. Oh no. Is she doing any? Is she trying to get through the roof? Uh, she's just kind of chilling in here. Got it. Okay. Uh, don't you just want? What do you want? What does she want? <laughs> thinking, thinking.
to remember the green. To remember the green. And she just took her to the green area. And she kind of like and she's kind of into it. She like the green. Green make her feel good. He's going to focus really, really hard on this enchantment. One that lets him speak with animals. And he's going to try. He's going to focus it really, really hard, and hopefully it will do something. So that's what's going on. So he's going to get close. <laughs> Say anything. Bark. Do anything. Come on. I'm running out of options here. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Ah. Man, I'm drawing blanks. I don't know what to do with you. Ugh. Can't just leave her alone. Queen. So just for a little information, the reasons he gave up the iPad? Because he remembers she's not allowed to have anything. Her handlers will give her food and occasionally make sure she's hydrated. But besides that, you're not allowed to have anything. And now the... The funny uh, color drugs are um, kicking up again. She's going back to her first state of being like, Oh no, you, you're a stranger. I'm not allowed to have anything from you. That's also... Oh, they include the bacon. Well, this is a case like the last time where he gives the tubes. She'll remember that. Should I try and get through the roots? I kind of want to try and get through the roots. I honestly didn't think I could. She won out. She won out. Damn you soft slug fingers. I can't dig through this. Damn you foot twicker. Can't twick my fucking foot. Alright. Uh, she's hanging back. Yeah, she's hanging back there. Excuse me? 
Oh, I there. gave her. Yeah, she was over there. Um, I gave her a little bit of my uh, breakfast, but she moved on over there. She seems to be more comfortable over there. Is she not yours? Uh, that data pad is hers. She's been kind oh. of communicating through it. Uh, she really likes dark room. Uh, smell nice. Like really nice smell. Uh, smell of okay. plant. <laughs> the plant smell. I'm like, why are you acting up? She's downstairs. Hmm. Alright, I'll just hang out here with her then. I don't recommend uh, getting in there close with her or anything like that. But at the same time, there's no exits out of that room, is there? Um, that's how you get up to the noodle shop. There's a code to get up there, right? She can't. Yeah, there is. There's def there's a code to get through. And at the same time. What can you do? I'll keep an eye. Okay. Good. I trust you, man. Yeah. I, I trust you. Don't if you don't don't screw yourself. Like I'm not saying that you've had a record or anything like this, but I'm just saying that if she if something wrong happens, it could be catastrophic for you. Hi. How did I end up here? Good question. <laughs> that is a good question. How the fuck did I end up here? Excuse me, well, I got accidentally respawned. Uh, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. It oh. just yeeted me. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. A little, little over, like, lean against this root or something. Okay, well, it was because I clicked on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm oh, okay. I, okay. I heard Apocalypse Cop just spawn in as we spawn back in the root, so he's probably wondering what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Good now. okay, I'm understand. so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. I'm so sorry. Room, man. My was so fucking scared. It's a, it's a lock. She can't get through that lock. She got through the lock. Well, the roof don't got a lock. She can go up the rope. That's where she's got. Okay. Okay. How the fuck? I'm gonna look at wound. Okay, we're just right, we're back to chilling. <laughs> we're back to. I'll be here. Simply on Radio 13. When you come back up, let me know. <sighs> oh man, that. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Hi again. I'm just gonna be out here, all right? I don't wanna be in your personal space, okay? Are you able to understand what I'm saying? Yes? No? It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Cause you understand, you understand what they're saying. It's just hard for her to understand some things. Oh. Okay. Are you comfy in there? Do you want a blanket or anything or? scared, aren't you? I have no 
idea who we are, why you're here. But I promise you what we're trying to do is help you. That thing around your neck, that's not a good thing. You saw the other slug, the woman who brought you here to her home to protect you. She's helped a lot of people like you before. And we're trying to help you now. We're trying to help you get away from those people in the blue. People who made you do things that you probably didn't want to do. I know you're scared and you probably don't trust us, but we're not trying to hurt you. I'm sorry if you are afraid. It's not really much. Do you like music? Do you know what music is? Hmm. Well, I guess you said that you like oceans. long time ago, people said, uh, would sail on oceans and they would sing th things called shanties. My grandfather taught me a few. Come me boys and heave with me, let's get off this cursed sea. Let's be home to lovers and wives and leave behind these four hour lives. Four hours working on the swell. Four hours logging in the rain. Four hours ringing to the bell. Then four hours till it starts again. It's a song. Some songs tell stories about people's lives and things that they did, or they just sing songs about stories that they make up. This one's about people who worked on a ship and things that they would do for four hours, because on a ship they would work for four hours and they would sleep, because there were other people that would sleep at the same time that they were working. seen something like that before, have you? Queen.
One out. One out. Speaking of uh, Antsy, do you want to come out there? Do you want to come out and just walk around a little bit? I can't let you leave the house, but... One one out! You want to stay there? This house that we're in is actually made out of giant mushrooms. Big plants. Like those glowy balls hanging from the ceiling. That big, big one over there, you can actually see the stalk of the mushroom that's holding the cap. The cap is the roof of the house. It's like these little ones, but really big. You want to go feel that mushroom? Like you were feeling the vines there? Here. I'll step away if you want to come out. My name is Boston, by the way. Big mushroom. This whole cap is the roof of it. It's like these, but bigger. You can feel it if you want. Back. Do you remember anything from last night? How you got here? When you, we brought you in there? Do you remember that? Did you see the flower that I left in there for you? Did you take that? Hi, Hellman. This is Boston. I'm in Cece's house. Uh, Cassie went out. I think he went out to the wasteland looking for you. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, we were just trying to uh, ask you if you had any more of that soup that this girl liked.
on the dirt. You haven't felt that before? Here, you want to see, you want to feel something cool? Scoop up, scoop up some of it in your hand. Like, go like this with it. Carry it back in here. Carry it back in here like that. Then dip it down in the mist here so it gets wet. You can feel how dry and crumbly the dirt is now. As soon as it starts to get wet, it turns into something called mud. It becomes squishy and what's called malleable. Yeah. The stalk moves, man. Put the jar on the tip. There we go. I've been teaching you about shush, 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 shush. I've been teaching you about mushrooms and she's shush. playing with the mud right now. I'll give you this. Oh shit! Small piece of jerky. I think I'm gonna kill this guy. Don't do it here. Please do not do it Shit. here. <laughs> Shit, Cassie, I think we're going to kill this dude. Guys, Damn. please, let's not talk about killing We're not going to do it here. Around oh. her. How many of you know what to do? Cassie. Do you want me to take it out to the flowers or some shit? Did you get the soup that you went out to get? Oh, to yeah, no, I got the soup. I got the soup. I got the soup. Okay. okay. All right, you know what? All right. I'm taking you again. Away from here. We're going out to the flowers over in the lake. The We're gonna go look at the flowers okay. and little mushrooms. Hola. <laughs> Understandable. Cassie. What? Here, I'll just let me try. Oh, she likes you today? Yeah, by all means. <laughs> Alright. So, this is food. You had this yesterday and you liked it. going to sit down here. I'm just gonna open it up and just hold it out to you. So that you can maybe smell it. No, you didn't give me food yesterday. This is yours. So from, from yesterday, I'm just saying it's very rare that she goes and does things on her own initiative. 
She's more reactive than she is. Uh, well, she's just reactive. <laughs> I don't think she's going to willingly approach you. She's never okay. had anybody do anything else. All right. So for her to sexualize do? that, it's difficult. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to that mushroom right there and set it down on the floor beside that mushroom. I'm not gonna come any nearer to you so that you can pick this up and eat it yourself, okay? You know, Boston, from what I've understood, she, I don't think she even understands common. <laughs> Plus, she's had some substantial neg negative stimuli here. Every time her adrenaline spikes, her uh, color shocks her. I'm trying to figure her out. I need to find Jackie to fucking see if I can disable that. It's yours. Because I... She doesn't know what you're saying. Mm. All right, Boston. Can I ask you a favor? I'm going to see if I can sure. do anything here. Can you go find Jackie? I saw her, All but right. I had to go deal with something else. Appreciate okay. you. All right. Wait. Oh. Hold on, a little quick yoga. I gotta get this kink out of my back. Oh. 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 All right, that's great. Feels good. Whew. All right, let's get this bread. Don't look at me. This is the act. This is the consequences of my action. <laughs> Let me just grab my coat real quick. Just... <laughs> All right. You remember this process. I'm going to stand here. You're going to snarl at me. One, two, three. I get that. I get that. Give me a second. All right. I'm gonna do what worked on you last time. I'm gonna scoot towards you. I'm gonna show that you're. I'm a friend. I'm not gonna smile because it's probably a display of a uh, being mean to you. Um. Uh, what else have we got? Uh. How's your day? Where did you come from? What do you think of the current government structure? You know, I don't really like it either. Okay, come here. Scoot, 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 scoot. So, hey. Right? Princess. See? I know you're angry. I know you're angry. I need to get that disabled. Man, I just got executed. Ah, shit. All right. Not good. I got too close. Collar shocked her. Wait, what the fuck do you mean it shocked her?
was way worse, damn. That'd be fucked up. Ugh. Don't think you're doing something fucked up, of course. I don't want to scare them. should be allowed to walk. Besides, it's been a pretty long time and I want a bagel. Well, last time I checked, there were no bagels in the kitchen. That's my plan. It's called watching someone. to do the trick on you. And why not? So much more can be shared with feelings and mind magic than any of the fucking bullshit that they're gonna try. friends are back. I 
guess you like whatever the PLA stuff is. I'm tempted to have the same. more rooms in here than I thought. Yeah. Good day there. So, I'm not gonna approach to speak. Me keep, keep me an eye on them. I'll have to get to see what they say. I'm gonna see if I can uh, take a look at that car, okay? I'm not gonna do anything bad. I can give you assistance if you wish. That'd be great. Apparently that things happened there. Yeah, I'm trying to turn it off. I wish it's the best, because I'm not going to know anything about that. I don't think I'm going to be able to remove it. I think I'll need more information for that. But maybe there can be some sort of situation I'm worried. Hi. Hello. We're back here. Um, you open me, oh back here. I'm, uh... Trying to, I, I've been asked to to uh, deck into her yeah, collar and try and like it's apparently actively here. shocking her right now. Like whenever her adrenal toxin spike, and we're just trying to like just turn that part off, just make just just help things out a little bit. And I provide okay. assistance. Let's, let's see if I get a single good roll for once in my life. Well, you got two chances. You got assistance. Plus five deck. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I rolled fourteen, so you guys managed to tone down the shocking. Uh, in it, actually, you managed to discern a little bit of the weird, archaic code used. That's probably the way that would be best to describe it. Is that it's archaic? It's a very old coding language uh, that you're not super familiar with. But Sloan, you might pick up. That coding language uh, is used in some very old Avalon operations. A uh, couple of old-fashioned sorts of files from a bygone era. 
Are we talking decades or centuries? Uh, decades. Right. Seems like that should help somewhat. Yeah, that's. I mean, this 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 code is pretty pretty weird. I don't. I I still need to figure out the person behind this if I'm gonna get to the bottom of actually you know releasing the whole thing. But I think, I think that I recognize some, some of it. Okay. It looks like it might be potentially even pre-war Avalon tech. God, so two pre-war relics in a day? You, I mean this, and what the fuck? Uh, guy outside. It's hard to say. It at least appears a few decades old, at least. All right, that's the lead. Let's let's go from there. Imagine that something that sold would most likely be uh, someone more independent, or perhaps off the grid. Hmm. Someone who maybe worked for Avalon, but what they do now, either they if they work for them, if they've, they've been around a while, and if they are not working for you know, anymore, then maybe they did in the past. Jackie, there's no ghost here. I don't think the bodies are here. He's gonna grab That's you. Not... He's gonna just pull <laughs> you back. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Don't step past this area. All right. Same boundaries. Your yes. domestic area. Perfect. He's on drugs. So uh, yeah, a lot. Right. We. Uh, supposedly, uh, Big Victor says that, um, we got him, got her from, uh, a, uh, a fighting ring. That collar around her neck hooked up to her spinal cord, I think, along with a couple other yeah. systems. Uh, it's probably all shit that she just told you. Um, you guys got anything, uh, corporate related that gets you through, uh, Ripper shit? Mm. I'm not sure. I think one of the big problems here is that this is very archaic tech. This is at least a few decades old, possibly pre-war. Oh, yeah. The trouble is, if you don't disable the failsafe, then you're looking at severe bodily harm. Try and take it out. I mean, it's in the spine. Taking it out, is that's something that I could possibly do. But when it comes down to incredibly intricate neural to spinal surgery, uh, I think uh, it's something that I can do, maybe with uh, four hours, as well as uh, maybe with Alice's help, because I think she'd be down with this. I think you'd also Indeed. need to have a... We, we would need to be able to di disable <coughs> the collar completely, so that it doesn't cause any issues on the <coughs> Just a matter of surgery. It's a matter of a non oh, I know that. We're gonna we're gonna need a master technician or an incredible decker. One of the two. Well, what we're gonna need is to figure out the code that they got in this thing. It's ancient Avalon stuff. We're talking decades. Well, it's using aspects of Avalon. It's it's back alley savant shit. Maybe. It's Most someone who modified. doesn't want their stuff to be recognized. Yeah. You said it was a gladiator pit. It's some sort of fight pit, yeah. If that is the I case, then there may well be a kill. Hello, NPCs. We're going to be doing Mountain King's yeah. old man I bit. If anybody wants to respond and they're not neck. currently in a scene, they come on to the spawner. This one is a shock. It's got shocks in it. It's got a... So whenever her adrenals spike, so whenever she gets excited or adrenaline spikes or anything, etc. Uh, she just gets shocked to hide out. I accidentally uh, procced it earlier. It's not a good sign. I wouldn't be well, surprised if, if there's some the key case, words perhaps, that... Perhaps the intention is more of a service rather than a 
in the fighting pit type. Well, I am a little hesitant to say, but she does have a name, technically, one that she will stop and listen to you with. And I don't want to say it because I feel like it's incredibly inhumane or something like that. Here. Don't say that. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Um, I'm gonna tr I'm trying to figure out who the people were who took her down. Do you know what happened to them? Um, I know for a fact that a uh, couple of folks uh, gunned down the person who was rocking. I suspect it as much. Do you know what happened to the body? Fuck if I know. That's a question for uh. Roland and uh, who else? Do you remember? I don't fucking know anything about this. I but I hope you find stuff. Victor, I saw around. Well, I was gonna have to waste time to see if uh, Cheetah he saw anything on the bar. Maybe gotcha. I'll see if Roland around as well. Yeah, see if you can nab Roland as well. Right, uh, this entire I'll conversation is just recorded by this guy, right? You recording? I am not no longer. Oh dear. Well, Jackie, I want to trust that you're going to deal with her. Yeah, I'll. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'll. I'll uh, he's. Listen, he's 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 eccentric, but I'm pretty sure he's not a ghost. All right. He's. I'm pretty sure he ain't either, but place that in the wrong hands. A lot of people can get hurt. Yeah. I'll I'll make sure it's all right. Just. Is it being harsh about on, that one particular part? Let's let's go. Where are we, where are we going next? Are we finding the bodies? Wasteland. What's wrong with that guy? All right. But uh yeah. Here's the question. Uh, if you got ripper shit. No matter what happens, if we spike her adrenals, she's gonna get shocked. We need to disable this shock to actually make some good progress. Yesterday, I was able to touch. Y yesterday, I used to hold her hand and feed her. But now, now, I can't fucking feed her, so now it's a race against time. She's so scared, and I don't know what to do. Because I've only, uh... I've never rehabil well, rehabilitated a slug. At the very least, you can set out a plate that they can take at their leisure. Well, unfortunately, with that muzzle, eating anything on a plate's difficult. She's got a squeeze bottle uh, of uh, a stew that Bendy made. Thank you, Bendy, by the way. If you can that hear. works uh, as well. Thanks, Bendy. And uh, basically, if she gets hungry or desperately hungry, she can stick that uh, straw through her muzzle and get at it. It's, it's what worked yesterday. I had to hand feed her and shit. Uh, right. Well, I suppose... One bit of good news is that, at least for the moment, there is no sort of range activation for the collar. Well, there is verbal activation. I got, I gleamed a little bit off of uh, the Decker unit that I got off of Ruin a while ago, um, that there's keywords. So I've been a little bit cautious to uh, use some more uh, interesting vocabulary around it. Right. <laughs> there's no seal number Nothing. No, that's ripper shit. Hardcore ripper shit. Literally nothing. Okay, fuck no. I got close enough to see a name. If I, if there was a serial number or anything like that, I would have saw it. But it's uh, very apparent that uh, she's not going to let me back close to her. The options are rapidly dwindling if she's not going to let me feed her. Not. Look, I don't know very much least, what they say anything about up. dates for stuff. Last Sorry? time things were edited or anything like that. 
I mean, I can check How the deck there again. This one fashioned, you know? If you have a date or something like that, you could start looking for shit around that time in different places. Black market fucking bullshit. That is possible, but Dare if it's say, independently modified, that might be impossible to find exactly where its source is. Right. This is the deck that I used to skim that information. Somewhere, illegal or not, there is a trail. Be it paper or something else. Something else. That is true. Well, I may be able, I might be able to forward this information to you if I can get it off the fucking decker. Um. <laughs> but uh, as of right now, I know for sure that this is ripper shit. Uh, definitely, there's a, there's allusions to uh, keywords. Uh, what else do I got here? Um. Fuck, I barely even know how to work these things. This is like high tech shit, by the way. This is level three. All right, so uh, Glitch earlier was um, uh, telling me that I gleaned a bunch of information, basically BIOS, di like, and, like diagnostics results, like, w like the technology, the software of this color. And apparently I have it on this uh, Autodecker. And I barely know anything about it, so I'm gonna try to put it in the hands of somebody who probably does, so I can either give him the entire bit or just forward it off of this and keep the information, keep the copy of the information here. Okay. And I'm trying to forward it to him. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hey boss, is your, is, your, is your doodad there connected to Avalon network systems in any way, or is that just like running off? It has like the ability to, but he is paranoid enough to have it as its own circuit. Okay. Then you get that shit perfectly fine. No. Cool. Fancy. But yeah, I'm gonna trust this in yet. Show it to the wrong people. We might get people uh, trying to show up here and claim ownership. Uh, so be very careful on who the sh who you show this to. I know Alice Harper would love to take a look at this. Uh, um, but right now. We need to figure something out to disable it, do something with it. You got any Decker friends of yours? Uh, that would sure love to meet him. Uh, and if you I have a think technician, Jackie that you is know our of. Best Jackie, you think? If that's the case, then we just need some sort of mechanic, some sort of technician, someone who knows the mechanical or electrical workings of it. Indeed. And then we can maybe do something about it. But considering that Fuck, this thing I is fucking shocking her. My extra eyes. Your extra eyes? Oh, I know. I got you. I got you. I got you. I don't want to just leave her alone, but uh, that might be something that I need to do. And, uh, it's a rotten situation. <laughs> Either way, I think it's all transfers over. Indeed, you have it here. Yeah, but that doesn't <sighs> sound like a good idea no more to go out with his dad. I was thinking about trying to round her up and take her down to the oasis, but I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> With the collar being on the fritz, well, no, well, the collar shocking her every time she gets excited or scared. Exactly. I think it Plus might be best to try and do what we're trying to, to do right now. Fucking other things, but I'm not cool doing mind magic shit without someone's consent I don't think she can do consent yeah I don't, I don't think so either you got one of the mementos though right the ones that makes you feel something yeah it's my experiences little glimpses of that sensations have I you ever seen the ocean the thought of like sharing yeah I haven't no only fucked up holograms on a fucked up stage oh have you nothing oh. real <laughs> <laughs> How about the feeling of being in a dark room? Dark room? Yeah. Yeah, my fucking prison cell. Dark fucking room. Can you give me an instance where in it's not, where you know... Yeah. Can you give me an instance where you knew that you were safe and nobody was going to come and stab you in the ass? Where you knew that you were locked up and nothing could get to you? One of those instances? 
Dude, there's been plenty of instances like that. Safe, but dark. I just don't want to risk freaking them the fuck out with one of my prison experiences when they clearly go through something similar. Of course, but here's the thing. She's animalistic, and she's responding to things that animals would. And in this case, a very dark cell is a form of comfort for her. It's a little odd, at least when it comes, for, comes from a humanoid standpoint, at least in an intelligent one like us. But she hasn't Mine developed intelligence like us yet, and we need to add... Laying on the cold, hard ground, in my dark little cell, after I got beaten the fuck up. I know they're not going to fucking inject anything else into my fucking wrist through my band. The fight's fucking over, they're gonna leave me alone. That's the best fucking feeling I had during that time. That's exactly what I wanted. Hold on, let me get you something. Send the fuck out. I'm not gonna do it again for a good fucking time. Okay? I understand fully. I understand. This is more than a shot in the dark. This is one of the few things that I know she enjoys. She actively seeks out dark rooms. She's been in several fights. So, the only logical thing I'd say is. I place it on objects, and it only lasts for an hour, as far as I know. If anything you get comfortable with holding and focusing on, that's the best thing for me to apply the memento to. Soft bandages. Throw it on these. Right, so I assume that you would like to try and have this happen today. I mean, I would like it to, because if she gets shocked because, you know, she gets excited or scared, I'm going to feel kind of responsible, and you know how that feels. Indeed. Oh, that's... That case. That's definitely a feeling. Acquired taste. Ugh. It's like being out in the wasteland and then being in a cold, dark refrigerator or something. Best fucking feeling of my life. Best fucking feeling of your life? I'll trust you on that. <sighs> so, space. So instead of just, instead of just uh, handing it out, he's going to gently toss it into her lap. But VR throwing is really weird. Okay. Yeah, I just give it again. And on on contact, it should provide the sensation of a cool, a cold, dark room after having beaten been beaten up. But like that's you can't it can't inflict pain or anything like that. So a very very strenuous and stress like strenuous stressful event. It's the aftermath. It's knowing that you're safe in a very dark cell. Mm -hmm. and being it's able fake to rest. sensations and concepts. You can't yeah. uh, transfer exact imagery or exact information of that moment in his life. It's just a like fake empathy kind of thing. Yep. Ah, that's fucked up. <laughs> right. All right. Can we split resources today? See if you can get, grab anybody. See if I can grab anybody. I've got a place where I can do a surgery, but uh, that might be the last step. So if we can get a first few steps done today, that would be really nice. Indeed. I'll go find Harper and bring her up to speed. I'll see what we can do. I'll go try to find a technician, uh, at the very least a mechanic. Very good. You want to rock with me today, Helmut? 
Fucking sure, why not? Right. I didn't know any of this fucking shit was happening. I think you can imagine with my colorful fucking history, I'm invested. So fuck it. Why do you think I wanted you here? I thought you'd relate, and I thought you'd want to help. Don't want anybody else to face this kind of bullshit, right? Bendy doesn't have those fucking memories I had. Well, I knew if it was between you and, uh, you know, Mr. Bitey. <laughs> yeah, he probably has a couple of fucking ideas too, doesn't he? Yeah, on fucking... con all things considered, all things considered, I don't think so. I don't think uh, he would be a good friend of hers. <sighs> ah, but either way, scatter and uh, reconvene. Stuff to do with. Indeed. Is there a radio I can contact you on? Uh, I can give you temporary access to my comps. Thirteen. Watch that. Alright, where, where the fuck are my glasses? That's how I get. Oh shit. Uh, oh fuck, where'd I put them? Uh, I think I put them. Uh, oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. There I got four new temp codes. Hey. Hey. No! You fucking killed him, boss. <laughs> oh, What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, okay. Right. I'll catch uh, she's down. still gotcha. here? Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Again. I saw earlier how you like feeling the mushrooms and the dirt, and so I picked these up for you while I was out. This is a plant that only grows in water. Got this from what we call a hot spring. It's a place where people go to relax. And this, I don't know the exact name of this mushroom, but is growing out in the cave there. Got them for you if you want them. Have new smells, huh? <laughs> no, you don't like that one, do you? Yeah, that one grows in water. One almost reminds me a little bit of you. Sparkly.
Welcome back, Bendy. I'm still in the... Oh, you're there. Hi. She seemed to really like smelling things. No, you're fine. She really seemed to like smelling different things and feeling different things, so I grabbed her one of the water plants and a mushroom. She really likes the plant. Bendy has some of the scented candles he makes. Oh, yeah. They're meant to help relax. I don't know if that would help at all. Hmm. I would say, yeah, to having a candle around as long as they don't get near the flame, you know? Because then, you know, then you get burnt instead. Yeah. Did we learn anything new? I mean, I haven't been here for like 20 minutes. Like, did you learn anything while you were here? Or? Stuff I'm more comfortable with saying. Is it stuff that I should know? I don't think it's necessary. Plus, I don't think you'd want to use it. of puree meat and fish sticks in the fridge. <sighs> no, it's not cannibalism, dude. It's prison food. That's the way we used to be fed to kind of soon. I'm assuming Bendy sort of stuff before I did and thought that might be the best way to get him on the same food because I don't think no I kind of communicated through text. Us in the notes, so. we try to keep in touch with each other. Oh, I have not had a chance to read this shit. Oh, while well, you're here, <laughs> been practicing. <clears throat> You okay? I thought you liked some flowers. No. No, I really fucking don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, it's I nice. I no, it's okay, nice. it's gone, it's gone. I'm sorry. It's fucking cool, it's cool, it's cool. That's a cool fucking trick. I remember you telling me like a month ago that was your favorite flower. It is. Sorry. Shit, sorry. It's okay. It's, it's fucking complicated. I kinda like it, but it also makes me fucking uncomfortable to see. He's gonna set the sunflower right I'm, here. I'm fucking no. Fucking weird mixed feelings about sunflowers, man. I don't fucking know. Okay, I won't do it again. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, just warn me if it's that. Cause it's cool. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to fucking downplay how cool that was. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. the sunflower something she's not used to I guess did you know 
know that you can eat rose petals? No. I've never touched rose petals in my life, even. Cool. Are you okay with roses? I think so. Oh no, man. They have a trauma to do with gardens and I don't even know it. Should I not risk it then? Give it a shot. No, give it a shot. Won't know till I know. Yeah, it's fine. Also, that's fucking pretty damn. You have it if you want. Cool. Fuck. Sure. It doesn't like hurt to like pluck it up here. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I got like a purple moon. Nice. Shit. It's gonna die. You all want to? Okay, that's kind of weird. That came out of me, I'm saying. <laughs> it smells like a flower, though, so... I can take it. I'm not gonna move. This one's called a rose. See if I can find Cassie or whatever and help him. He's I believe he's passed out in the room over there. He passed oh, out? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, the least I can do is go and make more of that puree or some shit. While you're out there, are you good uh, climbing or jumping? Yeah. You need me to find something. I saw there was some flowers in the fire district on top of a bridge. If you want to pick one of those so that she can have one too. I know a couple of us I can get to. I'll bring them over. Sure, why not? Appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't really get a confirmation out of him whether it's okay to put an eye in here, just in case something happens. Got an eye out for you. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Better be safe and sorry. Something <laughs> happened to you two, so I would not be a happy camper. <laughs> Appreciate that, Helen. Thank you. No problem. Did you hear something? You heard that too, right? What? A you voice just said, open up your heart and let the light shine in. What the fuck? Okay. I thought that was just me because I... Just no, I heard that shit. too. I, I'm fucking funny. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. 
Uh, okay, if you want to put it it's... across the fucking eyes. Yeah, okay. that sounds similar to the thing that people were seeing written on the wall in the fire district, too. There's something written on the fucking walls? How come this is the first time I'm hearing it? Okay, so there's something written on the wall in the fire district by the cave that leads to the uh, hot springs, but everyone sees something different. Like, Daisy saw a giant stat, like a giant drawing of a tall, slender man with a boxer head. I saw lyrics or words that said, uh, Mr. Blue did it right. Sienna saw text that said, uh, now his hand is on your shoulder, creeping over, or something like that. Like, everyone sees something different. What the fuck? I have no idea. And apparently there's no magic there, because Edric felt it and there was no magic energy there. No magic? I don't know, that's just what he said before I ran off. I didn't get to question him, but you might want to take a look at that yourself. <sighs> I hope I can have a look at it properly. Okay. Yeah. Let's not looking into that. Alright, I'll stay here with her. If anything happens, you're on 13, right? You'll tell me and I'll come try yeah. to help. Yeah. I've got one eye over there. Okay. It's not here right now, but... If it's there, mm. while I'm looking actively, you'll see a little glimmer. Okay. Thank you, Hellman. Appreciate it. No problem. You like the rose, don't you? You know, I wasn't always able to do this. This was given to me by someone called the Grove Mother. She is what we call a elemental. She was a spirit that sort of, like, unlocked the magic in me. Here, sure. So, this right here is a root that is attached to my arm. And the moss and flowers and leaves sort of just grew around it. Like this itself, this is all plant. It's like soft and squishy. If you want to feel, you can. I mean, you did pull a flower out of it earlier, so... Or do you want me to grow another one? I only grow so many different ones, but let's see. And then, let's see if I can do this again. Looking at your hair. Right around there. That one's called a tulip. you can do with that. 
because it has a stem is you can tuck it behind your hair and tuck it right up here right next to your ear so you can smell it yeah just like that Not a fan of that. Okay, you can take it out. <laughs> you don't have to keep it in. So you can understand me. I gathered that much. Which flower is your favorite that I've brought you so far? Can you show me? The rose, the sunflower, the tulip, the water plant. Which one's your favorite? She don't understand the word Which one favorite. smells the nicest that you like? like that one the most? Hello Sloan. Cassie had to step away for some time, but I'm here. I'm still in the house. Is there anything I can help you with? The parties are up to date. All right, are you going to stay on this radio or are you going on your own? Okay, sounds good. We'll let them know. Yeah, your hands are a little different than mine, aren't they? You know how to wave? Say hello? going to walk over there, okay? I'm not going to come near you. I'm just walking over here. This in my pocket. Have you sat in one of those chairs over there? I know that you've been sitting in this, but mm. have you sat in one of those? So you like dark places, don't you? Probably more comfortable in here anyway.
my favorite things about the mushroom cave, the mushroom district itself, are these little floating particles. They remind me of stars. Do you know what stars are? So you can understand me. That's okay. Do you know any words? I know that Cassie said that you were using that tablet earlier to talk with. But are you able to speak? Six years ago, I had a friend. Her name was, well, she was more of a friend, but her name was Gina. She and I, we would sit outside our house and one of the other rows, and we would just watch the cars driving above us, watching the lights go by, pretending they were shooting stars. These are more like lightning bugs, I think they were called. More gentle. Have a name, something that you're called. Can I 
I give you a name? Kind of do a little something. Kind of like these, but a little different. Austin, I am so sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. You gotta do what you gotta do, bud. That's yeah, right, we've just been yeah. talking. Well, I mean, I've been talking, but... Yeah, I don't think she's talking back. No, but I've come to find out that she does understand common. Does she? I've been pointing things out, and she's been reacting specifically to my questions. Oh, shit. I asked her really? what her favorite flower is, and she picked that one up out of the six that I brought her. I was mentioning the floating particles in the air, and she was starting to look at them and trying to grab them, so... Huh? That's something. Anyway, uh, Sloan is on radio, and he said to uh, have you contact him when you got back. Yeah, okay, cool. Shit. Here, if you can get her to eat, that would be greatly appreciated. All right. Here's one of the fish things, and I've got two more over there. If she's hungry, she's fucking hungry. She hasn't eaten all day or hasn't eaten anything this morning. So, okay. Really appreciate the assist here. I, I'm super late because I need to go find a technician, and I don't have yeah, access yeah, yeah. to a technician. I'll, I'll be here. Well, I'm gonna, I mean, I, I'm I appreciate you so much, Boston. What do you need? Wait, wh wait what, what do you need? What do you, what do? You do? Well, what do you need? Well, electrical components and the hardware components of a collar that is integral to a spinal cord, uh, probably brain stem and neck. Yeah, that's beyond me. Sorry, what? That's beyond me. I can't do that. Got it. I'll see Sorry. if I can find anybody More else. Synthetics. Okay. Well, synthetics. Synthetics might be. It, I'll figure it out. Okay, okay. Hey. I know you like the flowers, but you're kind of probably hungry, right? You want to eat something? 
My friend Marcus made this. If you would like to eat it, I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to approach you. You can come take it out of my hand. There you go. Thank you for eating. Would you like another one? If you do, please tell me. You can do this. I mean, I don't know if you want another one if you can't let me know. Do you want me to come in there? You want to get out? I can't let you out. It's not safe for you. I'm sorry. friend brought something for you. Hey, I'm gonna come for you. 
brought some more flowers for you. Just I'm just gonna hold this ground. Room. Like last time. And I'm not gonna move, alright? her what her favorite flower was are the ones that I brought her so far and she picked up the blue one and mentioned the floating particles in the air here and she started looking at them and trying to grab them so she is able to understand common but I don't know if she can actually speak that one's a bit goofy, isn't it? speaking is a whole lot of fucking with you. I remember, man, when you first arrived in the row. <laughs> Took some time, but you got there. I'm glad. Hmm. Do you know, know the names of these plants? Not off by heart. Didn't bloom. Ah, uh, that one, I fucking can't remember. Emberweed. Fucker fell, some bullshit. But she really likes them. She didn't like the mushroom that I picked earlier. <laughs> That's fair. Starts to drive you fucking crazy. You don't have anything to do or think about or even read. This helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Different textures and colors and smells. If I didn't know any better. was that? Did you hear? What was that? I'm just deaf. I ain't hearing nothing. Hello? Glenn? Happy? Happy? Should we be concerned about that? Okay, yeah, update. Turns out there's some weird fucking painting on the walls and some anti magic something, I think. You just discovered, but he's not around anymore. I don't need to talk about it. Kind of just left that explain. And don't know if these are related because they're all kind of happening at the same time. People are hearing voices over the radio, numbers, sequences, told to laugh, laugh, laugh. And it's freaking me the fuck out because that sounds like some fucking trident propaganda. 
I don't know. Gone right back to the training public good. I don't like it. I'm hunting them with Trident. If they so fucking people. <sighs> if, uh, I need to sit down in the pit too. Fuck no. <laughs> He's friend. He's okay. You were right to stay here for a little bit. Hillman, if I just go out and have a look around. Yeah, I should just... Okay. I'll just stay here. My eyes are in the water district. He's and the front of the house. Okay. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Okay. Your friend. Something funny happens to me, it's fine, I can slip away. <laughs> if anyone comes here and does something funny, we can both go at them. Just keep an eye on the front for us. It's a stub, the like... You can understand me, right? Do you have any funny markings on you or like brandings? I got one here and on my back. I know yours is different. Guess I'm just trying to say I relate. You've probably overheard the others trying to sort it out, right? They might try to do something like that soon. Help you be free. Get that fucking bullshit off you. Are you ready for that? Because when I got my bracelet off, it was scary. Afterwards, I was really fucking glad it was gone.
get to this, it's fine.
There's gonna be a lot of people here. I f Cassie trust them. It makes me antsy. I hope that they're considerate of that. That vision. Shit. Let's go. Hey again. Hey. All right. I saw more people to let you outside. Know. There's a lot, a lot of people here right now, and they're going to do what they can to help take this off your neck. They're good people, but they have to come close to you in order to try and help you take that off your neck. Okay? Allowed you there was something to... I wanted to offer. I've allowed you to come to me to take the flowers from my hand. But may I approach you? I don't have anything on me to hurt you. I just want to come near you. Okay. I'm just going to walk with you with my hands up so you can see that I'm not grabbing anything. Okay? I appreciate being okay. Is this okay? And come a little closer, okay? How is she? All right. You're doing very well. For the most part. Got it. All right. So we've got information. We've got you know his voice. I think she's a decker as He's well. been coming in and helping you as well, right? He was here before. He's brought a lot of nice people who are going to try Sorry, and help you. new to this kind of radio, we kind of had to figure it out a little minute. Now, you know me. I've been in here with you all day, and I haven't done anything okay. to hurt you. Okay. I've yeah, given so you flowers, and he's given you flowers too. Right? It's funny, as I uh, just got done speaking with something of a similar I'll do sort. It this way. I'm gonna say this. They're going to try and help you. Are you? And uh, when yeah, that yeah, happens, you know if you start to feel scared or anything like that, yeah, just look at me. Okay. If you're okay with it, if you look right at me. I will try and communicate with you. I can communicate with the mind. Do you just try your best to scream into my eyes? Whatever the fuck you want them to do, if that's to fuck off, anything like that. And I will hear you loud and clear, okay? I will hear you. I am, I am gonna ask you to do me 
please come over here. <laughs> we need to get around you <laughs> to be able to help you take that off your neck. <laughs> His movement. His movement. <laughs> now, this is going to stay on my hand. And I'm going to let you feel it and smell it. Oh, but you have insane. to come here. And you have to let them try and help you. Please. Okay? I don't blame you. Okay, well, I will, I will give you a general rundown. Of, um, I'm not going to move. The group knowledge. Uh, okay. Um, uh, the systems that this collar runs off of, and the way that it is, we'll say, installed... Oh, You've Physically already taken several flowers is, from me uh, earlier today. Proprietary. Um, this is, as I've described, Ripper It's not going to come off. Um, but not back alley, necessarily. I, uh, I told you. Both I told you that you can feel the, this, but you have yeah, to stay here. Both and it's going to stay on my hand. The okay. Itself, because they're going to help you. The code of the collar is intricate, archaic, and very, very personalized. Built for I brought you those. Really I gave you a lot of flowers already. As for the physical component, now I'm uh, asking you to do this for me, please. Artistic eye to being a pain in the fucking ass to remove safely. I think Cassie put it very well when he described it as a fish hook. Uh, that thing is installed in such a way that removing it poses substantial, incredibly present harm to the individual. Uh, as well, so long as you don't know the way that it was installed. It's almost like a nest of curling wires winding around each other. When they're done, I'll let you take it, okay? Hard, unless you know where they start and end. Uh, and so, the usual easiest solution to disentangle them is to just cut them. And that's not an option here, for the sake of for survival. Uh, yeah, all these are flowers too on so, my hand. That is the You can feel it again if you want. It's just not going to come off, all right? I'm not going to do anything. things first we also need to incorporate the age attack and then again as tage ages goes through different stages you know certain equipments are better for me the equipment please okay. they're good people they're here to help you yep. I'm gonna try and get that thing off your neck all right well it seems, it seems related to okay of course, but that's what I'm saying I once that thing is off your neck take a look I need to actually see the product. We can take you out of here. I'll take you to the mushroom cave. All right? But in order to do that, you're going to have to let these nice people try and help you take that off your neck. All I'll say is we should be examining it. I'm not trying to remove it just yet. I, I we don't want to try anything until we know exactly what Exactly, we don't even know what we're dealing with yet entirely. So how about this? 
I think of without just poking and prodding and at the damn thing, especially considering we don't even know how aware she is of what it is yet. How about we do the needle? It seems more humane at the very moment. Considering everything I'm thinking here. Okay, so... Hey. <laughs> Not my fault. Sorry. That's... I think... Are you guys talking about... Wait just a moment. I honestly, I... I'm sorry, I think you're the pretty big will continue here if somebody can distract them. You know where to do it. <sighs> we don't want to frighten her, but just by poking and prodding or whatever else is around her would just scare her. Not only that, but her collar's set to go off if her uh, stress levels go up. I did tamp it down earlier. It shouldn't be as bad. Better for her. Okay. I have to explain something to you, okay? The oh, faster, the better. That may be a distraction. So, you know, every time you get angry or scared, that, that thing hurts you, right? They're going to come in. They're going to use a needle to inject something into you to put That's you... That's what I'm saying. We need a distraction while you... Listen to me. It's okay. If you get angry, that's going to hurt you. you if you get scared, you that's going to hurt right you. Now. They're going you know to give you something to keep you options. calm so that they can look at it properly yeah, without you getting really. hurt from being scared or startled. <laughs> they need to do this to help you. I promise you. Okay. I just had an idea. Shit. I know you're scared. Honestly, I am too, because I... What's that? I'm afraid for you. And this whole thing that you've been put through, it's not fair. Like monkey see, monkey do? <sighs> Well, here's the issue. So. Maybe, oh I think it would work if the sedation was something like a, a pill or something like that, but this is something that I think they familiarized with themselves with something of a bad experience. We want to help you. I don't know. It, it, you don't it, understand it, that it, word. It, it, you don't understand them. the concept of help. Apparently a slave. Oh I can boy. only imagine so many things that they've probably gone through. I'm just asking <laughs> you to please trust me and let them do what they need to do. Well, what if we also need your abilities? You being knocked out ain't gonna help us. They think they'd probably be more frightened. That's me. That's me, Apocalypse. I want to help you. I want to help you. That's why I'm talking to you right now. That's why I'm explaining to you what they want to do. So you don't understand what help means. Hello, Peach. Hi. Cassie is going to try and sedate you, if you're okay with that. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. You guys really stream that comparing to Sadio, On the consequence of his own Maybe actions, really depending on how he does shit. it. Of okay. course. Am I holding this person? Okay. It is okay. Is 
as soon as that car is a needle off, with nothing in it. You'll be allowed to go outside. And they need to do this. You got a needle with nothing in it? Help you. No, I don't have one. I'm saying that that, that would be an idea. For if, if you wanted to pretend, okay. you could just use like a saline needle or something. Got it. Oh. Alright. If this. Alright. My turn to chill here. I'm chilling here now. easier ways around this, but this isn't a, exactly a right, so easy, is, optional is situation. This All is right. a good idea. Seems a little strange. Remember how I told you that they had to inject you? I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to come over to you. I have to do this in your neck. Okay? Fuck. Come closer. It's okay. If you want, you can come to me. I need to do this to help you. Please. Uh, all I can say is that if... Okay. I'm gonna come if, closer to you. If whoever they are, let's okay. inject them without struggle, that's already probably a good sign. Please. Come closer. I'm not whispering, I'm talking. I need to do this to help you. Alright? It's okay. Come closer. Right? It's okay. You're okay. Here. I know you. It's okay. Here. I know you like the smell of this, right? You like how this smells? It smells good? Hey. Look at me. to do this to help you. All right, just focus on the smell. Focus on the smell of the flower. All right? OK? 
Okay. And just... <laughs> Alright, I injected her. It's okay, you're okay. It's okay. You're gonna be okay, alright? You're gonna be okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you can be okay. I promise you. I'm sorry. Come to them. You're gonna come out okay. Come to okay. Here. Now you like the smell of this one too. No, you broke your chest. Yeah. You didn't like that. She's gonna lay down a pillow beside you. Alright. Okay, I injected her. Is it? gonna be okay, I promise you. <sighs> Ow. I'm chilling there. <laughs> she did bite me, though. Um, I don't know if a DM is here, because my... Damage is slowly going up by 1%. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I... No! Because <laughs> I clicked as I did it. She's, she's napping. Hold on. Marco. Okay. So this is just making happen. sure that okay. they're this resting is, well. That, that, was a problem. that the neck is oh, oh, wait, hold on. I got not you. being blocked or anything. <laughs> Here, take this. Like, take is this. she a poisonous sleeve? Okay. No, she's, not, she's, not, she's not poisonous. Just take that. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> Relax. I'm gonna pick I'm just up. making sure the head doesn't come forward and there uh, is blood or something. Got it. Should be coming. Right. Come here, lady. No. So I, I would like to take her... Unless you think you can do the best you can in here, other than a doctor's office. What do you think? No, I'm gonna table to lay her down on to be best. I need to be able to Kay. examine her. Okay. No, He's gonna shouldn't. pick her up. Legs no, and then shoulders. Come on. Let's go. Do you want time to disable the yoke motion? Yeah, I know some of my full buddies oh. acting funky wucky like it always does. I gotcha, gotcha. Yippee. I got, I got every technician in, in, in the waste. I've got the best medics. I got, I got you. I got, I got, I got you. you I got, got everybody. Him, technically. You. You. I've got a mechanic. I've got a. <laughs> oh, bro, I can't right, bite go. you. That's a muscle on. She can't bite you. Okay, well, I don't know. I started getting hurt. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't know what was happening. Good. I started headbutting with a muzzle. I did. I did. All right. Make sure to grab your weapons. Uh, don't leave them here. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm not gonna leave my stuff here. Has anybody ever told you to have the most fishy eyes? 
Cool. Excuse me. I, yeah. All right, I'll leave my gun as a sign of good faith. Let's go. I'll leave my gun as a sign of good faith. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, she is quite weighted, but I'm strong. Don't say that about a lady. Well, well, okay. Well, one. Okay, reasonable, understandable. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna contest that. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> uh, somebody hit the door. You got the door. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, the was it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, we're back in here again. Okay, Boom, cha. Okay, got okay. it. All right. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna make sure to dim the lights, ever so, not to the point where. All right. If you have a flashlight on you, use that. If she wakes up, I might double dose her for. Uh, I might double dose her for a sedative. But as of right now, we have full. We have full access to collar. Technicians. And and mechanic, if you'd be so kind, take a good look at it and see what you can gleam off of it. It's a nice page for you guys. But... Well, yes, and there's some cybernetic components in there. Yeah, yeah. I've got a GM on the way. So look at this. We're all gathered here. Look at this, this is so gathering. cool. We're so cool. This is cool. This is cool. <laughs> 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 you. you. Hi. Yes, me. Yeah, me. Yes. yes. That. And I've got, I've got two technicians and a mechanic looking at it, and they're super close. They're inspecting it thoroughly. It, it's great. It's great. It's great. Okay. All right. Yeah. We can already confirm pretty much by based by the fact that it's reactionary to their uh, mood and symptoms. That is already connected to their nerves. There's nothing we can do about that in terms of a. It could already be connected, but how is it connected? That's a, precisely the, the fucking question. I think it's directly tapped into our spinal cord. That's what I'm thinking. They'd have to run a wire right. down. It's a lot of surgery. Mm. That thing is Hold on. wired directly into her spine. Oh my fucking god, you're actually right. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 you Alex poor fucking that. baby. Oh, you poor yeah. fucking dear. Nothing like spinal oh. surgery. Spinal surgery. I think it might also be hooked up to her brain somehow, but I that know that. model is old. I would I not have seen this in years. Oh, I, I did a surgery tank top a couple days but ago. But you've been <laughs> reworked. <laughs> oh. How'd you get in? Those are higher tier oh. corporate parts. Reworked oh, into yeah, an yeah. old frame. All of that just oh, to. I think you kicked it open. <laughs> yeah, you did kick it open. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just gotta hit the door in the right way. Don't tell Runa. Don't don't tell Runa. Any of you. Not condemning too. It's your your problem, not mine. Oh yeah. Right. None of us are here now. Daisy, I know you're invested. She's sedated. She's balling. She's having a great time. I got the corpos in on this. It was a good idea. Uh, is there any the way, guy, indication, the or way I can see which uh, either factions or type of people might have left or done this? Any readings, uh, sampling signs? Nothing but the uh, recurring piece of information uh, within the code itself of 
things referencing either Tangle or Tails. That's it. Let's take a piece of paper. If uh, either of you can access Tangle. any of its BIOS by being, uh, by like directly connecting it to it, I don't really know much about technology. See if you can find anything about trigger words or words that are important to her. Because uh, she does have a name. <laughs> Is there any her, listed uh, verbal commands that we can indicate from the caller? Yeah. Uh, no particular listed verbal commands. Um, the main center point is that she, it is coded to give her a spike of endorphins when, uh, the muzzle is removed. Could we can do something connect do it something directly to the muzzle? So have we have could... A in time, theoretically, if we can find another piece or an accessory, we can technically reinverse that same type of technology into a different one using reprogramming it and connecting it to something else. Theoretically, that would be actually done. It wouldn't need to be a muzzle, maybe a bracelet or uh, a keychain, a necklace, things like that. As long as it's connected to her, uh, the it. muzzle. Can I... well, mm. If we have a pair of pliers, we. Could we just, like, pinch these off and just leave the ring around there, at least? I feel like that would uh, look not the best. It might not look the well, best, but at least the thing is still attached to her I know, face but I think it would look anymore. like something else and we'd be accused I, of something I don't... completely different. That's an yeah. entire different uh, list of <laughs> jobbings that I don't think we want to advertise. The poor girl's been through enough. I don't understand what it's... you're talking about, but okay. Ooh. Look, it, having a ring around your mouth isn't the greatest thing to have, okay? Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, oh no, oh no. It's just a Shit. thought, so she doesn't have a muzzle. It's... Would that theoretically be possible, though? If uh, if, it, if it's been connected to, uh, say, uh, you know, the collar, but could he connect it to a different piece of jewelry or something, like a bracelet? May have to transfer the connection? Uh... Potentially, it's a, it's, it's more of a psychological reaction is the problem. She psychologically reacts to the collar being, or to the muzzle okay. being removed, which that results makes... in a spike but in adrenaline. none of us are therapists. Okay, I am. I think I have this kind of cracked, and there's good news and there's bad news if you want to gather for it. All right. I know this tech, and I know it better than I'd like. So, the good news is there are ways that we can actually kind of work around this. There's methods that we can use to help improve this entire circumstance, actually. Quite a few of them. The bad news is hardware and tech are way too risky of an option. If things go too south, then honestly, it could pull the cord on her entirely. However, this is also mostly mentally linked. It's not even the fact that it's a collar. It's the fact that it could be anything, a bracelet, anything like that. It's psychological connected to her. Somehow they connected it to her brain. Well, what I think is going on is that certain endorphins and certain chemicals that are introduced to her system then invoke a psychological response. And the like caller responds to it, and it so reacts exactly. accordingly to its programming. Ironically, the biggest uh, sense of help here would be a therapist, or at least people to help improve her life. Uh, how do we get rid of a Pavlonian response? Simple. Good question. You give plenty of reasons to ignore it, and or teach her. Directly. It takes a lot of time, dedication, but ultimately, I'm not... I'm not a therapist, but I can only point to the fact that this is the cause, and then maybe the only way we actually can rectify it. <sighs> that color's not no coming off factor. without disconnecting it from her body, her spine, her heart, whatever it else may be influencing. And honestly, we don't know if that color is also the only thing keeping her alive. About the technology. True. Hmm. Well... Is there any way to sever the electrocuting component? 
She needs to be able to be scared. She needs to be able to be excited. She needs to have adrenaline in her system. In time, if we had the right irrespons- parts, if we had the right facilities. This is very much connected to someone specific. They understood the mixture of parts they use for the tech. If I had the parts themselves to study, then yes. But unfortunately, I don't without taking them off of her. So this is what I will say. I will find ways. I will gather as much as I can technologically wise to dampen and or potentially disconnect the shock setting. But right now, we don't have the means to do it without risking her life. And I don't think I'm in a position to do that. Can we get an x-ray? Did you find anything See all the, uh... that can identify who put this tech in? There's only Jeez. two hints we have. Was that a paper? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> DM, what did you say it was before? Oh. <laughs> DM just said, just, uh, what do you say it was Ryan before? In terms of IDing, there's only things, two things that came out. Tangle and tail. All right, who's the best decker in the room? Her. I will be right back. <laughs> I'm just not making sure. Now, I'm there is something it. that I do recommend, however. And if you can find a way to sneak it on her or do something, or at least maybe coax her into doing so, having something to help monitor her vitals, or at least warn somebody when they skyrocket, is wholeheartedly probably only useful at this point. If that is what they are connected to. I could probably hook something up to her arm. Those things are easy to get off. But since I don't really have the technology here... Alice, I know you're whispering over to Sloane, but I could have used your assistance if you'd be so kind. You need to understand as well, this is very specific work. Kind of like, um... This is somebody's personal project, not something that can be store-bought. Somebody put a lot of time, dedication, and money into mixing these different parts together to create this death trap. I fully... Which means, yeah. Alice, X-Ray. Get all, get the, get the absolute, just an idea of where exactly all of this connects. Because yes, it will connect to the spinal cord. However, we need to see if it goes further into the brainstem or any of this. So if you'd hang in there with me. What kind of gear you got in here? Kind of gear? I mean, I do have a... I got an ultrasound, I guess, when it comes down to that (laughs) piece up there. But... Hmm. I... I got a handheld, but it's shoddy. Alright, I'll see if I can get one from the Avalon Clinic real quickly. Great. How long is that anesthesia gonna last? That's what I'm about to say. I'm gonna double dose it real fast because it should be wearing off somewhere around the next uh, ten minutes. Okay. Or if you think that your constitution is really, really strong right now. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna take her arm. There They're a sea slug. They're known for. Uh, you should you They're want resilience. to double dose? Not only that, they actually kind of excrete whatever things affecting them. They kind of filter it through them. It's as far so as I remember. It, it, it is true. However, pat, pat, pat. I don't know if you're a professional anesthetist, but when they seem to be waking up, I got a calming candle, all the things like that. I would Thank actually you. really appreciate that. Water yeah, and air, also magic herbs. I know that's just like nice. uh, <laughs> If they're excreting anesthetic, you maybe don't want to touch them with your bare hands. Yeah, no, that's actually a bad idea. It smells you like are... warm sand, the sea breeze, and nice woods in here. It's very what? calming. Ooh. Were we teleported? Damn it. Where are we? No, it's a candle. <laughs> I need a candle. You're already touching her barehanded, though. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Touch. Uh huh. Squishy. Squishy! It's squishy! I squishy knees. Her knees are squishy. Right. Oh, she's really entirely out of cartilage. He takes the leg. It, it can bend past the knee just a tiny, tiny bit. However, that's okay, not okay, comfortable, so that. I put it back. Don't do that. But uh, just, the sea mm-hmm. slug body is actually very, very interesting. You can just tell anyway. me instead of, like, playing with her like a Barbie doll. How would you believe me? You buy your word? <laughs> you have no reason to lie? 
Listen, I, honestly, I, I don't believe they've already that, pretty uh, much shelved out probably quite a bit trying to help her. I'd say let the doctor do the work. Yeah, do the doctor. All right. What do you think? You've been awfully quiet. Mm. Oh, I've just been letting him take the floor because that's what he does. <sighs> but oh, I can't say I've met you. He does it again. My name is Boston. Genuine nice opinion. to meet you, sir. I run the hotel up in the row. We need an internal... Uh, internal... Alex, Doesn't Alex matter how old it is, it's still tech. Could have been better, as long as you can find how it's made, nice to meet who you, made it. So your doctor Doesn't even well. matter. If you can find who made it, that's oh, even no. better. Uh, if you can find how it's made, tech. where it starts, what it does, all you need is to be able to take it apart from start yeah, my to grandfather end. Luckily, I've got the best decker I know on it. My whole childhood working on ships and sense, so... Uh, what's, uh, oh, what's right. you put I the took, safe feelings uh, on this? Job to job, building things, <laughs> making things, advancing <laughs> things as much right, as I could. Yeah, Let's look at uh, see what I we got. Went to the town, considering that was probably a much more homely place than I don't I think so. I think I could ever consider. Yeah. Well, I'll ping for you. Fair enough. Well, I Yellow, God here. Oh, yo! All right. Yo. I got a corporate grade oh, scanner so from our clinic and hooked so it up machine. to their machine oh. to do an x-ray to see how this thing is connected to their body well, get a okay very you're doing an x-ray you brought your equipment from the other lab this is yeah. corporate level yeah. stuff this is a yeah. corporate level yeah. scanner i want it oh how much <laughs> Right. It's time for her to unfortunately <laughs> explode due to all the metal inside of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's an MRI. That's an MRI. That's an MRI. Don't do that. Don't. That's that's for MRI. Kill her. Kill her. Jesus fucking good. Just rip. She fucking exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> What'd you do? Princess going into the MRI after eating a thousand pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you're using corporate level tech, I... I'll do a roll anyway, but I really don't think he needs one. Oh my god. Damn. At advantage because we're both really cool doctors. pennies. Yeah. Both rolled fours, but I would argue that it doesn't really matter, honestly. No. Uh, the and scan. The corporate advantage. Oh, bag of pennies. Yeah, the corporate miles. advantage. <laughs> Fucking corporate yeah, no. advantage. The scan items. would stay. The scan is going to be quite slow. That's the That's one disadvantage of not using a proper, like, machine. You gotta smack her on the side sometimes mm -hmm. when she slows down like that. Oh. It's exactly. not a quick scan. Apparently it was good. Uh, <laughs> that being said, bit by bit, you immediately start seeing as it starts from her head. Her antenna don't really have anything in them. Uh, but once Phenomenal. you start getting to the base of the antenna, into the head area, you start seeing it light up a bit. Oh. Hmm. And then as you, as the scan goes further and further down and more and more of the image is revealed, the entirety of her head begins to light up. Oh. oh. Jesus. Oh my god. I think we're running risks that we may not know the consequences of. Further and further it goes down, bit by bit, pixel by pixel. Shit. And that light never stops leaving. From her skull, down to her throat, and her spine, down to her waist, and even through some of her arms and legs, all of it lights up with metallicness. Oh my god. <sighs> I've never what seen something like this. What are we We're looking at wonder. here, Doc? Her entire body right. is connected to it. Everything. The entire thing. Except the tips Shit. of her horns. Oh, Tana. That means any signs of... Oh my god. Oh, antenna. Even through... Re Rem she was a battle... Wo oh my god. I don't know if this can Who's be removed what? without serious damage to the body. At least not here. But, yeah, not no, some kind none of, of this can level. be removed without... She, I think she's just killing her. Center. This, Absolutely. I think it's up to 30% of her body is replaced. Or modified. I, I don't even no, know if the technology to do this. 
If we had everything we have at our disposal, it's as if it's as if this is almost like an upper city level thing. That's what I'm thinking. This is cybernetics have been stopped. This is more expensive than just I already knew that it was corporate. Guys, guys, she's no one can do this much work with the parts. What? What's going on? She's fidgeting a bit. She's moving a lot more than. Shit, she's moving through it a bit too fast. Yep, I got that. Ah, God damn it! See slugs in their resilience. Flick the tip. Take the hand, take the hand, put it on the Honestly, banister. Honestly, I think the, the only option we have at this point would actually to be psychologically, but also tech-wise change it. Change the functions of it if possible, so. if we can get the products to, but also psychologically get her some help. Well, as much as I would love to do that... Don't think about any extensive surgery and replacements. This issue isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. That's why. Not that's why the shots were affecting her so bad. She <laughs> feels every fucking body. Every bit of it, the adrenaline. Everything. Of course, but when it comes to the electrical components, it's heightened. Why do you think electricity is the bane of anybody who has cybernetics? It hurts yeah. twice as bad. I, I'm not a medical professional, nor do I want to step too close on situation. But I would I, recommend also, if you want to do any sort of changes that might affect her mentally. Be careful. The entire aspect of, let's say, in her case, if you were to ch quickly change your environment and change how things are when it comes Excuse to the me. action, it could cause a lot more confusion. Sorry. I've seen exactly. enough in combat situation where adrenaline high is happening, and then people immediately get taken out of situation, causing confusion as why are they for no fighting, potential cause of aggression, Potential aggressiveness or confusion of location, maybe even mistaking your friends for foe. So, I do want to consider at least be careful if you do want to change things up mentally rapidly. Well, that's kind of <sighs> also the big point there is the fact that she, she is a warrior slave, as far as I can tell, in a very fucked up form and fashion. If we just in, 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 show her to, even to put a fucking dude be Candyland or something, she'd be so confused she'd only have a fucking heart attack. She likes flowers. Oh, of course. She likes this. the feel of mushrooms. She likes feel of dirt and feeling it in mud. Looks she like likes dark rooms. Yeah, so she, then, yeah. Huh. I feel like I did promise her they could be, take her in the mushroom. It might cave. be good to, I guess, adjust things when it comes to at least from how I heard. Chemical base. Oh, so, but, somebody shot a gun next to you. Oh, that explains a lot. Come here. See, every time you invert your fucking air drive, listen. Do be careful when it comes to chemically adjusting it. It could cause course, confusion. Uh, my recommendation: if you say that they like flowers, feel yeah. of mushrooms, potentially start dampening it slowly getting them away from those i guess chemical reactions or Tech mental wise getting everything i can to change the shock output is going to be very difficult and i hate to say it but even people who have the best mental treatment have bad days she's gonna have a lot but of them when it comes to her psyche it's bo it's more animalistic than it is actual human that's the, that's the overarching issue. How can you perform psychological duties on an individual who's closer to a dog mentally? I don't know. I'm not a, not a doctor anywhere near. I'm just somebody who knows how shocking works. Shit. So there's no way for you to disable that shock function? With the way I had things I have currently, not, there's too much at risk. Well, Could you fry that component? What information did you find on caller specifically? Just names? We got two names. Jack is looking at the, the method Tang of work. Tangle, we got Tails. We got the fact that it was based on old Avalon tech, but it's customized. Highly customized. <sighs> what happened to the Trident guy that was with her? Like, did anyone search his body for anything? He got blown away. He wasn't Trident. I looked for the bodies. They're uh, long gone. Yeah, they they either uh, went to the incinerator or down the effluent pipe and into the wasteland. Shoot. Ah, <sighs> uh, this is one of the first times I've ever felt helpless. 
I would pref I would be performing brain sure. surgery. Oh shit, she's twitching. I don't have an I don't have enough yeah. of that anesthetic, and it's not healthy to Do keep her under the sun. That's no fun. Casey, okay, you said that they might be potentially animalistic in sense of aggression, is it? When it comes to her behaviors, borderline well not borderline, but almost Pavlonian, it's more animalistic than it is human. Feel Apparently she can understand ever, common. You are gonna if ever a problem she might get aggressive, start throwing hands, whatever. Feel free to reach out. Oh, don't mind. The shock mechanism, the shock mechanism of the caller, the purpose of the caller is the caller Gosh. itself. Effectively. I do something with that. Much she dies. we can do. We should probably get her back to the comfy place she was found. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Be bad for her to wake up here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna good risk good more an anesthesia. We should go. Oh, come on. Yeah. Good <laughs> Would you like to disable your locomotion? Uh, I think I didn't even turn it on. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't even turn it on. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, Fuck no, we it. don't have a lot of time. We gotta get moving. Come on, boys. Come on, gals. We've got places to be. I'm still I think it's too. Back, back, back. I did promise her to take her to the mushroom cave. If we can just it is true. However, we need to put her in the exact spot that we got her, and then she can wake up, and then you can do such. Okay. Yay, another dead body. What? She's rallying. I know. I'm trying to figure it out. We got I might be 300 pounds of muscle, but it's steroid muscles. I'm not, I'm, it's not there to kind of just for show. You're okay, you're okay. Come on, come on, come on. Gently, please. Oh there we go. Where's my, Where's the bandages? Where's the bandages? Where's the bandages? I think you left it on the table in that clinic. <laughs> we need. We need. Uh, where's Bendy? Bendy had him. Okay. I'm just going to pick up your hand and set this underneath your hand. Back up, back up, back up. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna do for you. I have very important news for everyone involved. Best if we made an announcement to everyone here. Same feelings on it. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. to your leg. Also, when you can get the f get out, we gotta tell you something. Come on. Me? Oh, she yeah. fell asleep with me there or what? I'm not really fully awake. She's just very restless. It's like a feeling of being knocked the fuck out. She thinks she's actively in danger. Well, I don't know if it's a bandage or not. She's kind of feeling a okay. This is a mess. She was just getting used to this place, getting a sense of calm. 
But now because of <laughs> being fucking knocked the fuck out and now get the feeling of being locked up. Now she's getting the wrong feeling of familiarity. And Buster needs to get fucked. He just lost a lot of trust upon her. I fucked up. You fucked up. Everything is doozy. You're okay. See? Hello, everybody. 20 minutes left in session. You did good. You did good. Sorry, I had to do that. I trusted you, damn it. But since you let me do that, I'm going to follow through with my promise. If you want, you can come with me out to the mushroom cave. You can come out of here for a little bit. He'll snap his fingers. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Cassie! Cassie! Stay calm. I've got this candle here. I'm gonna light it again. Oh, 
the candle. I'm lighting it in this room instead. I imagine it's so a bit to her. I didn't do much in the sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Sorry. Thank you. the candle in here. Snap my fingers. Because yesterday, when Cece and Cassie and I were in here with her, we were just to make sure that she could hear us, and Cassie snapped his fingers and she looked at him. So that let us know that she could hear. And so I just wanted to make sure that she could hear me. She wasn't looking at me when I was talking to her like she usually does. She was just drunk. She's out of it. They're not completely with it, even though if they wake up. Oh no, Liz. Sorry, I didn't know. Think of it like if you're sleepy. You know when you start to fall asleep sometimes and you start having trouble falling backwards. Mm. It's kind of like that sometimes if you get ahead. That's what I imagine. That's what it was like for me. It's a mistake that hasn't killed her, so I take it as a chance to know not to do it again. Only in certain circumstances. You know, I just startled her, that's all. It's going to be a constant struggle. I'm pretty sure at this point she knows that. I don't mean to sound like that. She might have frustrations with it. The distrust comes more from not thinking you're another person, but not knowing if you have the... if you're inept or not with the situation. It's that kind of trust. There's other ways to trust people. I don't trust everyone with my bank details. But I trust you to have my back in like a fight maybe. Or to look after some of my family like Silver Bottom. Shit, I just got family. Fuck. <laughs> but you get it, right? I don't trust you with my bank account, but I trust you with my family. It's gonna be different levels of trust. Different angles of trust, not levels. I had the same with other people back in the day.
Sounds kind of sweet. You know, I might not have trusted Iggy with my cupcakes or whatever, but... I didn't make a promise to you. I did say you can have this after... Okay. Like before, if you want to come to me and take it, I won't come to you. Nah, you broke that trust when you stuck a needle in me. Nuh uh. Okay. I'm gonna do this instead. Might be moist, but it is nice. <laughs> Might be a while, but the biggest I fucking trust I could give someone back in the day was having my eyes closed around them. Because hmm. that meant I was safe enough to just to get some shut eye around a person. <laughs> and hey, even if they did something to me, that's fine. I don't fucking blame them. But they might not be happy with me getting hurt. Understand. He made the pure sticks after all. Hmm. Plus, I can still see you through my mind. Yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose. Never mind. I'll shut the fuck up. Do you want? Do you want to try asking her to go out to the mushroom cave with you? Because I did promise her. She doesn't want to go with me. It's going to be pretty spooky, but if the others were okay with it, I could go out there. Yes, he was. Do you want to get out of here for a little bit? The big challenge is making sure I don't get startled too much. Maybe we should just stay here for a bit. Then. I'll just look up at the floating stars. <laughs> I'm laying down again.
Think of your friends, the ones who care. They all will be waiting there with love to share. And your heart will be alone. Funny how a photograph. Take you back in time to places and embraces that you thought you'd left behind. They're trying to remind you that you're not the only one known as an island when all is said. Boston. Mm -hmm. You and I need to talk. Yeah. Is that Bendy or Hellman? Which one? Hellman. Uh, you know it's, it's illegal. It's my turn. To me, right? It <laughs> is. Damn, arrest me. Shit, I'm telling the truth, man. No, don't don't ask me to say things that only right. Hellman would know or Bendy would know because I've already forgotten. But we gotta we gotta come up with new ones, man. With me, you're mine. This is your five-minute warning. Do you want your flower back? Where'd they go? I saw no, over there. I saw this guy over there with my eyes, so that's why I'm over here. What the fuck is going on out there? What? I heard several gunshots. Where? Do you, 
He's had a stressful day. <laughs> you put one in here? Never mind, I didn't see that. Never mind. He did. He told me he was putting one in here earlier. He just got killed. Nothing. You put one in here. Nothing? Oh, okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, if I didn't put one in here, I wouldn't have known that they were getting shot earlier. Ben, or that they crawled ben, into that ben, corner. Ben, ben, you know, you know this is like secret. I'm sorry. Thing. I know. Yeah, I'm this is like secret. He's going to set the rose they took off his hand earlier. Right there. Were out doing their thing, uh, I would have known. Okay, isn't that fucking reasonable? Nice? Reasonable. What do you want? I was just gonna put this. You left this over there. This is for you. Sorry. Good night. I'm going to go back to my place. I said it was me! Holy I thought fuck. you were lying to me! No! I wasn't lying! Holy shit! I'm... Fuck. How'd you make that up? How'd you make that up? I don't fucking know. Okay, let me try lying to you. Um, um... Fuck, I can't think of a lie! Wow, that's a fucking wild! Wow, you're Maybe so I bad at making a lie! Holy yeah. shit! Holy oh, shit, I have no reason why oh, that's a no fucking reason. world, Cassie! Oh, well, well, holy I'm gonna shit. go and make... I'm gonna go you make fucking five-star shit. You idiots, stop arguing shit. in here and let her relax. I have a little Jeez. bit more. <laughs> a little island, no one to please. A my little island. Nobody leaves. <laughs> that might be a wrap. I believe there's like a week break I think there's like a week break and then next week after that it's uh, the row and the wasteland I think I think it would be around for the last three weeks god damn over at least two weeks Ugh. oh damn oh so eat beats are tired Yeah. What? Hello, bitch police. I found one. She's over there. <sighs> what the fuck you doing? It's not funny when they don't argue back. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna take a, take a, I'm gonna take a guess and say that you don't want anything from us before we go to bed. 
Did you just shake your head at me? <laughs> now she's good. She's gonna sleep here with her flowers. Oh, I, th oh, I thought you just did it in character. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Day trying to interact with his character, trying to fix his character. I mean, she would have recognized oh. you had food, so what if you had uh, pushed it a little bit further with the food? She would recognize you that you're the guy with the food. Damn it! Alright, <laughs> here. <laughs> Good book. I throw the auto decker across the room. <laughs> What am I gonna do with this thing? What am I gonna do with this stupid hell? I got the fucking bitch police on the phone, but they won't do anything because they won't fight back. And police brutality is kind of their thing. Huh? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, get consumed. Uh, hello. 